Hi Taurus and welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma and thank you for joining me for your Taurus love reading for December the 1st through to December the 15th 2019. Of course time is fluid so if you have been drawn to watch this reading at any other time then there may well just be something here for you. Through this reading I will be referring to you Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus or Rising and your person meaning the person that you are thinking of, whomever is most on your mind. But please bear in mind that these energies may well switch, especially if you are cross-watching for a Taurus. So take this how it resonates for you. If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it. It might well just be that this is not your story on this occasion, and the message is for someone else. In that instance, please do go ahead and check out your Moon, Venus or Rising Sign readings or of course any of the other amazing tarot readers here on YouTube. Also, please don't get too bogged down with the gender of the cards. If I refer to a Queen card as a She, for example, I am only talking about the energy that is held within that card. Again, take it as it resonates for you. I don't read reversals and this will be a love reading. If I speak about any signs that show up and your person is not that sign, again, I'm speaking of the energy of that sign. You already know who you have come here for. With that said, let's get on with your reading, Taurus. Taurus, hi, how are you feeling? How did Mercury retrograde treat you this time around? I hope you survived intact. I know the retrograde specifically related to the house of the in, in Taurus um, of people returning. Did anybody come back? Taurus, for you. Welcome to your love reading for December 1st through 15th, 2019. This top row here represents your energies. Bottom row represent your person's energies. As I said in the introduction, please, please feel free to flip the characters around. Let's take a look at the overall theme of your read. Okay, we've got the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Okay, this is, I can see what's going on here. Um, one person in this partnership is working, juggling responsibilities, trying to manage their time trying to figure out their priorities. I, I, I've done the, this card has come out a lot, this batch of reads. And, I, and I've pointed out every time, so you will be no different, Taurus, that this guy is working very hard on his pentacles and all the while ignoring this, this roiling ocean of emotion behind him. And emotions, you know, the cups, cards, but he's ignoring his emotions in favor of his responsibilities. And there is an element of, within this card, not finding the time for anything that is emotional. Not finding the time for love, essentially. And this has caused somebody else, I'm assuming the other person, to be frustrated um, this is sleepless nights. This is anxiety, depression, worry. You know, what's going on? If your person's not contacting you, if your person's vanishing, if your person just sometimes has the time for you, other times doesn't have the time for you, and you're left wondering what's really going on. Is it work? Is it really work? Let's take a look at your overall energy, Taurus. Okay, your overall energy is one of collaboration. You want to work with your person. This is teamwork. This is learning and growing together. This is, you know, th these guys have got little blueprints here. This guy's got his hammer. They're working to create a solid structure, a foundation on which this is a relationship spread. So this is working on a relationship, working on your relationship with this person you're very much in an energy where right now that is what you're willing to do and that is what you want to do let's take a look at your overall person's energy wow beautiful the ace of cups this is 
the beginning. This is the beginning of love. This is new love or a rekindling of love. This is opening your heart. Your person wants to open their heart to you. Your person would like to start something new with you, love-wise. Their cup of love is overflowing for you. Um, aces in gen general are introductions and opportunities, but this is the ace of love. This is the ace of cups. Um, remember what I said about people coming back during Mercury retrograde? Has somebody come back recently? Somebody who you would like to work with. Somebody who perhaps is not fully managing their time very well at the moment. We'll, we'll, as we pull more cards, the reading does become more clear. We'll take a look in your heart space. Okay, yeah, you're, you're waiting. Um, this is an energy of, sort of surveying your kingdom, you know, that ones generally, this is the three of ones, ones generally are very active, movement orientated suit. Um, this is one of the, the rare cards in the ones deck where action is not being taken because this guy is waiting. Um, this is progress. This is expansion. This is perhaps an overseas opportunity. Um, I generally only interpret it as that if we have other cards that would support that idea. And right now we only have one. But, you know, you want to work with this person, but you do feel that your your heart, it's, it, this is in your heart space, is your heart holding back a little bit and just waiting to see what it is they're going to bring. You know they're going to bring something, but you're not quite sure what it is yet. So you're just having a look, observing their actions, their intentions, their words. That, that's a very pragmatic place to approach something new. If this is somebody brand new or if this is somebody who has come back for another go. Let's see what's in your person's heart space. Okay, they, they are coming. Look at this. You're waiting and they are coming. The chariot is Leo energy. The chariot is um, moving blockages and boundaries out of your way in order to come to your person. So if they are struggling with their time management, you know, I feel that they, they want to move that out of the way for you this is determination tenacity willpower pushing past those obstacles this is fast action towards you who is waiting to see let's wait and find out what their intentions truly are yes i'm willing to work with this person this person is bringing you love fast they're not this is no secret. They want this. Let's see how we progress through this spread in your headspace, Taurus. Okay, you want some balance. You want some reciprocity. Um, you. This is temperance. This is a Sagittarius card. This is a very calm approach. But it's also, and you can see, he's, he's got his toe just dipped into the water here. This is very much an energy of testing the waters. Your person's coming full throttle. And you're, okay, yeah, maybe we could work together. I'm going to wait and see what you do, though. I'm just dipping my big toe in for now. There's restraint here, Taurus. If this is somebody from the past, I'm feeling history between you. If this is somebody new, I'm feeling a relationship that's perhaps happened in the past that's given you cause to be cautious. This is a very cautious, wait and see kind of approach. You're not saying no, but you're only kind of saying yes at this point. Let's see what's in your person's headspace. 
Okay, yeah, they're holding on. This is the Four of Pentacles. This is control, security. They are not letting you go. They are going to hold on to you and your connection as tightly as possible. If this is a person from the past that has come back, they have never let go of you. Not really. It, you know, it could be weeks, months, years. But if this is somebody new, they're not going to let go of this feeling. You know, you have stirred something in them, Taurus. They really, really want this. And you're holding back not entirely sure why Taurus this is your story you will know why you're holding back if this reading is resonating for you okay this card here represents action that you are taking towards your person so far we've seen inaction towards your person you're more letting them come to you at this stage but let's take a look oh Taurus, are you going to break their heart? Are you jealous? Are you frustrated? The Three of Swords is pain, sorrow, grief, hurt. Something is stopping you from coming to your person. Did they hurt you? Did somebody else hurt you? There's a reason why you're only dipping your toe in. There's a reason why your overall energy is not this gushing love. It's a more level-headed, let's, let's see where this goes. I, I feel, Taurus, either this person has hurt you in the past or somebody else has hurt you in the past. Again, only you know, but it's causing frustration and jealousy. Your heart has been broken and it's causing you know your your tentative approach towards this person it you're not really you're you're going you're not really taking action towards them you're waiting to see what action they bring to you and they are bringing action to you but let's see specifically what that action is oh taurus look at your person <laughs> They're bringing love to you at speed, pushing away obstacles, refusing to let go. This is the Ten of Cups. This is divine love. This is a blissful relationship. This is marriage, union, partnership, a house, the children, the white picket fence, the 2.4 kids and the dogs and the cat. This is the completion of the journey of love. We have the beginning and the completion for your person. They see you as marriage material, quite frankly. The, you're the one holding back. They are not holding back. If you feel that they are doing something shady that's keeping you awake at night, actually they're, they're, work, they're just working hard to juggle all of their responsibilities right now but they are certainly finding time for you perhaps you need to recognize that perhaps you need to deal with whatever it is that's in your heart that's caused it to be so cold this cautious approach perhaps you have extremely good reason taurus to have this cautious approach who knows but your person wants it all with you they're not letting go Let's take a look at your challenges, um, your blockages within this relationship. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very masculine energy. Um, again, very much this energy of, you know, he's, he's sitting on his throne, this, this energy of inactivity. You come to me. And that is your challenge. That is your block. You know, you're sat there. You're very attractive. You're a leader. You're powerful. You maybe are a manager or a boss of um, a business. You lead people. You manage people. Um, you have people that work for you. You enlist the assistance of other people. 
you know you're you're quite a strong and powerful person but i think that has put you taurus in a position where you are so self-sufficient that you don't like the idea of relying on anybody else at all and your blockage is your refusal to meet this person halfway all this you come to me you know and this person they're, they're doing it they are but at some point in any relationship there has to be a coming together and meeting in the middle and and we do have the balance this temperance but from from this kind of very much getting this just testing the waters because it it fits so well with this waiting to see kind of energy let's see your person's challenges and blocks mm -hmm. this person taurus is so in love with you they want to bring you love they want to bring you love they want to bring you love they want to they want you uh the, these you know we have a queen and a king again don't get bogged down with the genders this is the energy you are sat in a very masculine king of wands you'll do as i tell you kind of energy and your person is sat in a queen of cups very nurturing and listening and healing and holding space very patient very compassionate very emotionally stable you know not only is this person bringing this wanting this but they they you know this is not on a whim they have considered their intentions and their feelings for you taurus very deeply and very carefully and they know this is what they want and they have no intention of letting you go but their challenge is holding space for you because you are you're resisting this Taurus because of pain and grief and sorrow and hurt and past like I said whether it be with this person or would it be previous relationship and their challenge is they are I, I feel they are in pain go, going to or are or will soon be getting a little impatient with you and yet you're worrying unnecessarily about and questioning their priorities that there is no question of their intention here Let's take a look at the potential overall outcome for this reading. Now, this is potential outcome of the current situation. And again, remember this, this is intended for um, around a two week time frame. Time is fluid. Um, I did make that very clear in the introduction, but this is, this is the continual turning of the wheel. Let's see what the overall outcome is. And we have this collaboration card again. This is where you started Taurus. This, working together teamwork i already explained about the blueprints and all of the above so we'll have a look at the nine of wands here the nine of wands is a test of faith boundaries and courage it's um one more f you know ha ha still having the, having a fight in them this person has been through whatever it is has been through it um but they've got one more left you know they've, they've been through a fight it would seem you know he's he's got a bandage on his head there he's all banged up and he stood firm not going anywhere with his wand ready for one more go this is your person fighting for you fighting to work with you you want this too but you do have some boundaries set up and your person is willing to do what it takes by all accounts just be careful you're rather standoffish taurus but your person as it stands right now feels that they are prepared and willing to hold on and to fight to work together to achieve this and help you through this perhaps you need to open up more 
about this. They are ready to listen. Okay, I'm going to pull from this Oracle deck here. Taurus, you are actually one of the shortest reads in this block that I have done. I'm not really sure why that's the case. It, it Yours just seemed very clear-cut today. These are Oracle cards, not Tarot. I do read them intuitively, very much dependent on what we already, already have on the table right now. So, as you can see, I do struggle. These cards are so big. I don't know why they make them this big. They're beautiful, but they're too big for my tiny hands. Let's cut these and we'll take one from the top and one from the bottom. Uh, let's see what we've got for you here. There we go. Okay. Dragon's Lair and Spirit of Place. <laughs> we've got two places here. And they're both very different, aren't they, Taurus? We've got this place of spiritual understanding. These autumnal leaves falling here. You know, the. Why am I feeling this is a person that's come back? Somebody from your past. This, this feels like a revisiting. A safe place. You know, it when, when autumn kicks in and things get a bit cozy and the nights draw in and things get a bit darker. But it's, it's a nice place to be. And the dragon's lair. This is where your person would like to come when they come to you. But perhaps more often than not, they're finding themselves in this cold, iced over fortress. With potentially a dragon. Ready to breathe fire and burn anybody that dare step up this staircase. Taurus, if you want this person, if you want this relationship, let them in. You have so many defences, so many boundaries. You are being, to be quite frank, cold. But you do care and you do worry. And you do want to work with them and you do want balance with them. But you've just been hurt. You've just been hurt. Perhaps you could find a safe person for you. Somebody that you can talk to, somebody you can reach out to, somebody you can express. Whatever it is you need to express, you need to work through your pain, ignoring pain, burying your head in the sand, pretending pain isn't there. That it's, it, it's still there. You can push it down, but it will manifest itself in other ways. The only way to heal pain, to get past pain, is to push right through it. Take a sledgehammer to your walls, if you really want this person. But most people would want this person. This person who's bringing you love. This person who wants to come in fast and furious. This person who won't let go of you. This person who wants commitment with you. This person who has emotions and holds space for you. This person that's willing to fight, to work together with you. What is not to love here, Taurus? I mean, only you know, as I've said, how you truly feel about this person. The fact you're watching this tarot read about this person suggests to me that you do care. This suggests that you do care. This also suggests this is unnecessary worry. But I do hope, Taurus, that this gave you something today to muse upon, to ponder over. I do hope this helped. We'll come back in approximately two weeks um, for the last two weeks of December and revisit these energies or there may be a whole new story for you, Taurus. Could be for a different Taurus. Um, again, general reads are very hard to be super specific, but if this did resonate with you, 
please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear if you enjoyed this read, how you feel about your person, what action you think you might want to take, and I'll see you in the next one.